Today's theme is symmetry. I'm Candy Cooper and let's start out with the definition. Symmetry means something that is exactly the same on both sides of a dividing line or center. It can also refer to a balanced arrangement of the parts of a whole. So let's see what that idea means with this mixed media collage. And I bet if you take a really close look at these feathers, you might notice that they're the same on both sides. So the first thing we're going to do is create the background for our collage with some paint and some special paper, which let's talk a little bit more about the supplies. You're going to need a large watercolor paper pad as well as some mixed media paper. And then you'll also need some um, acrylic paints and I'm using a thinner formula. I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but you wanna pick one dark color and then have a bottle of white acrylic paint as well. You'll also need a glue stick, some scissors, a paintbrush, and I think we're ready to get going. So the first thing we're going to do is paint our darkest color across the bottom. And I'm working a little bit backwards today, but I'm just gonna swipe over, and I'm using a pretty big paintbrush today so that I can move over large areas of my paper. The reason I'm using watercolor paper is so that when I use this thinner paint, it doesn't get so ripply. Okay, then we're gonna add a little bit of white on a separate palette. Okay, now we'll just pick up a little bit of this white with our same paintbrush and you can already see on our palette how these colors are starting to blend. And I'm just gonna go over right along the edge of my darkest color. And I wanna mix in, I'll just keep kind of blending this out as we go. And then we're going to move to a new paintbrush all together. And drop that one in some water because we don't want it to get hard while we wait or while we do paint this next section. There, that should do it. And I'm gonna paint starting at the top of my page now. And you can see that I'm creating a background and we would call this ombre. And ombre is French for shaded or shading. You could also say that um, these colors have a gradient, which where that means they slope from dark to light. So you just wanna kinda of touch over that last section that you painted with your paintbrush, and you can see that I've got a perfectly graded section from dark to light, ombre. All right, so I've got one that I've been working on right here, and you can do this again in any color. Take a look at this green one. Any color will work as long as you have uh, white paint. The next thing we're going to do is get back to our point of symmetry, and that is when we're going to do some paper cutting of these feathers. And to do that, we're gonna switch papers from watercolor to our mixed media paper, and we're gonna start by folding over a line, and I'm folding over an inch, and then you're only going to need to draw one half of your feather. So you can start with a stem, come up here, make some feathers, like so. And I've got one that I've prepared perfectly right here. And you're gonna use small um, scissors to cut this out. And I'm just turning the paper while I work. And you can even jazz it up a little bit more by cutting out center notches. And this looks really cool because now we have pierced sections of our feathers. So the last thing you need to do is just start arranging your feathers on your ombre background, like so. And then we're going to use a glue stick to adhere them to our background piece. So you can do this a couple ways. You can coat the entire back of the feather so that it sits flat against your surface like that. And I kind of like to start with small feathers at the corner and then work up to bigger feathers like this. Another neat idea is to just put glue on the edges 
like so, and put the folded point up, and you can just glue those tiny edges right there, and that gives your feather a raised three-dimensional look. Or you can glue, put glue right down the center seam on both sides. and let your center and the edges of them um, fly up. So let's take a look at our finished one. And this is a mixed media collage because we're using paint and paper all together to make this piece of artwork.